Erikson. Uh, so here we are in Furnaluc, Mallorca, and we're here together with the chef, Santi Taura. And we're here to find out about the traditional Mallorquin kitchen and the native wines and what kind of produce you can find here on the island. So, uh, Santi, if you were to pick a restaurant, not in Palma, but outside Palma, in Inca, for instance, where can you find an interesting restaurant that focuses on the traditional Mallorquin kitchen? Joan Marc. I think Joan Marc is the, uh, one of the most uh, real Mallorcan chefs in, in, in the middle of the island. Uh, he cook uh, traditional recipes and uh, seasonal products and the local products. We're together with uh, Juan Marc, the chef at his own restaurant, and with his father that takes care of the finca here, uh, called Can uh, Fon. And we're here to find out about if there is something that we could call a taste of Mallorca and how Juan with his dishes and with his father uh, taking care of the heritage of the Mallorquin kitchen. If you were to explain for somebody that's never eaten at your restaurant yeah. about your style of cooking, what would you say? I think our, our recipes are very are simple recipes, but very tasty food. We, we use different techniques, but it's not the most, the most important for us. The most important that the people enjoy it in our home. And be of a comfortable restaurant, a comfortable service, and a tasty food. How uh, did it all start? Uh, why were you interested in food and wanted to be a chef? When the, my studies was bad, I need to uh, centrate or focal, focalize one thing, and I started uh, to work like a chef. When did you decide then to start your own restaurant? This is a natural process. When I think that uh, when some chef has something to explain, something to say. You have your own finca together with your father. And we're here to find out about uh, his way of cooking. But most of all, we're here to find out where does he find his produce and products. Yeah. Here we see a lot of ducks. So Juan, uh, tell me about uh, what kind of food are you giving the uh, they eat uh, many corn and many vegetables. What kind of vegetables and fruits do you find here on the finca? Here we have uh, figs, we have uh, almonds, but uh, very few almonds. But we have lemons, orange and pomegranate, and now is the season of the pomegranate. So what is your favorite vegetables that you can find here for your kitchen? In every season we have the best fruit or best vegetable. In summertime, green peppers and tomatoes and now pomegranates are all in September the fix. And who is running this finca? Is it you or uh, your family? It's my parents' finca. Uh, my father is from Kurstich and uh, we have this finca here and my father is retired and uh, he enjoyed it uh, and uh, I spend his free time here working. What other kind of animals will you find here on the farm? We have chickens, many chickens and ducks. And years ago we have columns, but then at this moment not. So what kind of dishes are you uh, making out of the eggs? Uh, desserts with the eggs and uh, dishes with fried eggs. Uh, for the chickens, it's, uh, when they are youngest, the meat is soft, but when they are oldest, uh, only for made soup. Uh, so Juan, uh, what kind of spices will you find here? Yeah, now we are in the ending of the summer season and we have these chili paprikas uh, in the best uh, time. Uh, what kind of fruit trees here will you find on the Finca Can Fond? Yeah, we have uh, lemon trees and this one. We have lemon tree, orange, figs, uh, pomegranate. Uh, I come here here and uh, here we have a uh, spoman granate where when uh, well we have a uh, special sauce in Mallorca for share with uh, uh, white uh, um, meats like uh, sacquin pig or roasted chicken we have a jam and very spicy jam and this is a sauce very nice for these dishes or for, for these types of recipes what is the name in Mallorquin? Um, salsa de magrana agra you also have some sheep. What about uh, your kitchen and your menu? Uh, what's the difference between uh, vegetables and meat? It's a combination of both. Uh, we can use dif uh, different foods without the with the season, 
and the meat that we have. What kind of traditional dishes, uh, yeah. Mallorquin dishes, do you make from the lamb? We, we can make uh, roasted uh, uh, legs or arms, uh, but we can make more things like panadas. It's just something that we make it like a papillot in a pastry, a salty pastry, and inside we put uh, lamb. Or it's very common, very, very traditional, eat the, the interiors of the lamb. Uh, and the other dish is uh, frit uh, with uh, vegetables and uh, the pulmons and uh, all things that somebody is like, but it's something very nice for us. He's Mark, my father, and we stay in Canfond in his finca, his own finca. And are you proud for, with me? Sí, with sí. our work? Claro, sí. What other places do you find uh, the ingredients that you are using? With different farmers from Mallorca near the restaurant, this is very important for us, for our gastronomy and for our recipes. And the fishmans, we have the, we have, we, we are in Iceland. We have many fresh fish uh, around in the Iceland. Do you think that there is something that we can call the taste of Mallorca? The best food in Mallorca is grow up here in Mallorca. If you were to explain what is the Mallorquin traditional kitchen? Many uh, years ago, for many different cultures come back here, we have something about all these people, with the Romans, Spanish, and uh, Arabian people. And we have uh, different types of cook, different uh, types of use the ingredients. And today we have all these cultures in our island. Now you have your style of cooking in your restaurant. Uh, lots of people come to eat your Mallorquin kitchen. Where will you be in three years? I hope uh, I stay in, in my home. I have all my family near. This is very important for me. I don't want to work outside Inca, outside my family. And this is the best for me. And I think this is the best for our guests. And the people send and feel our hospitality. to give an advice to a young person that wants to become a chef like yourself, yeah? what would you say? The unique thing that they need to enjoy the work. This is impossible without enjoying this work. <laughs>